How the pitch football just witnessed a 1 1 draw with Newcastle. Give me your instant reaction to the game. How do you assess it? Um, absolute shocking for West Ham. Shocking. Absolute shocker. I didn't think we played well. Didn't look good. Um, I, I just think from the first minute game, we did not look good at all today. Um, I think it's the weather, Storm Eunice. What, what do you put it down to? I, I don't know at the moment. I, I really don't know. Since the last five, six games, we're not looking good. I just can't put my finger on it, but they look tired, they look jagged. Um, I just don't know what is going on. I mean, because the football... They're a bit deflated by the lack of investment in January, maybe, and knowing everyone, knowing that the West Ham need them reinforcements. For me, it was massive January. That was the time to bring someone in, bring someone, a big player in, to boost up the squad that we've got. Lingard or whatever would have been absolutely immense to boost them up. And today, no. And it wasn't that there, and we still look lethargic since January. And we are struggling, struggling like nothing on earth at the moment and fourth place in all honesty it ain't for us at the moment we don't look good enough nowhere near for fourth place you know Europa League yeah yeah but fourth place Champions League we ain't good enough for that and I'll be totally honest we are not good enough for that nowhere near and we will get shown up in that and we're going to lose big players because of that and because the board have not shown ambition we're going to lose players like Rice in the summer and that's a guarantee this year and I'll be gutted to see him leave but can't hold a great player back, never. And it is what it is, isn't it? I mean, it's just awful at the moment. It's not good. It's not good for me. Held a pitch football. We just witnessed West Ham's one-one draw with Newcastle. Sir, can you tell me what is going wrong at the moment? What's happening? Do you know what it is, mate? It's just uh, we need players. We need to freshen it up. We ain't got enough uh, depth. We've got no one to bring on from the bench. No striker. Um, teams are figuring us out as well. Set pieces and counter attacks. That's all we can offer. We're too slow. Um, God forbid anything happens to any of our players, especially Europa League and FA Cup coming up. We're, we're f at the moment, mate. I'm, I'm so for the language. It's just, yeah. I think you made a big mistake as a team not bringing in high end, top quality performance, regardless of uh, Im improvements and reinforcements, regardless of how difficult that is in January. Yeah, no, mate. Look, anybody, just bring in, it, like, it doesn't matter if they're from the Championship or whatever. Like, for example, we brought in Saka from the French Championship. He came in and he hit the ground running, scored an abundance of goals. Ben Rama again's come ben from the Rama. Championship. Yeah, another player. Ben Rama, Bowen. You know, there's nothing wrong with picking up these players from the Championship. Even if, look, we've got the money, we've, we've got to spend it. Like, I know, I get Moyes' strategy, I do. But at the end of the day, when we're chasing fourth with other teams behind us, you know, it's now or never, to be honest. But yeah, it is what it is, I suppose. One thing I've not actually mentioned to West Ham fans today is the, the Zuma kicking the cat thing. Where, what are your thoughts on it and where do you sort of stand on it? Mate, what he'd done was absolutely ridiculous. If, if, but there's nothing we can do at the moment because if we take him out of the team, who have we got to bring in? I know it sounds really bad, but with Diop, uh, we saw that game against Leeds. He was woeful. You know, that could happen again. We take Zuma out, you know, we fall down the table... What Zuma done again was ridiculous, but yeah, it's not. We were in what a tight. Saying, should West Ham be punished for for Zuma's actions? In effect, West Ham shouldn't really be punished. He should be punished. Um, obviously, heavy fines or what have you. But that's all we can do at the moment. That's all we. Can, if we take him out the team, maybe a one or two games, but because that's in the past now. Well, I think yeah. what got people's backs up was the the, the tweet saying that uh, he he won't be playing for a little while, and then. Five hours later, he's he's in the starting lineup. Yeah, because with the Leicester game, he was ill or something like that, or whatever, whatever rubbish that they came up with. So, I, I think he's just. I think the pressure got to him that game. If I'm honest, again before Le before Leicester, sorry. Mm -hmm. So um, he came back into the team. He didn't do too bad. He didn't. He didn't. He tried his best to not let him affect him. But then again, it, it's not about one player. It's about the whole team at the end of the yeah, day. Yeah. We all need to chip in and. Uh, like I said before, like with Wolves, Man United, Arsenal, Tottenham, all of them on our case, you know, we've seriously got to pick up the pace, mate. Especially with Europa League and FA Cup, it's going to be one difficult end to the season, I'll tell you that now. Now, Declan Rice has been in scintillating form in the first half of the season. Dropped off a little bit, but still one of the most valuable players at the club. Is it a real concern for yourself when there's speculation linking him to the likes of Liverpool, Man City, Manchester United? Do you know, with Declan Rice, we've got to enjoy it. We've just got to enjoy it while it lasts. I mean, the only way we, we... We've been lucky, to be fair, because we've gone along with his ambition. When he's gotten better, we've gotten better as a club. Yes. So when he's first started off as West Ham, we are battling relegation. As we've slowly gotten better, he's gotten better as a player as well. So, look, if I'm being honest, if we do drop off, 
the chances of him actually going, they go through the roof. So we've got to somehow, in the summer, we've got to spend the money, we've got to push on, otherwise Rice will be gone. How the pitch football, we've just missed a 1-1 draw with Newcastle. Can you give me your instant reaction, sir? Um, we deserve to win. Uh, their goal was very soft. Uh, I think Mr Rice made a mistake, but uh, we can forgive him that, can't we? Yeah. Um, he's a great player. And um, what can we say? We should have won. And we need to win to, in the top four. Big, big points dropped today in the race for the top four. Are you still confident that, that West Ham can secure that Champions League spot this season? No, I don't think we can. Um, not for any other reason. It just we, we just can't seem to put it to bed when, when we need to. And that, that's as simple as that. Yeah. And uh, it's a great shame. But still, we live for another day, don't we? Speculation regarding star man Declan Rice has been continuous throughout the January transfer window. Do you see him being a West Ham player next season? Uh, I don't see why not, because if we finish fifth, there's only four, four teams you're going to go to. Certainly, Manchester United, why go there? I don't see no point. Is it Manchester City? Maybe. Uh, we'll see. He's the type of player, surely you must be looking to build a team around rather than export to bring in to bring in reinforcements. Absolutely. Um, and why, why shouldn't West Ham uh, keep him? Uh, if he wants to stay, he'll stay, won't he? But if he says he's going, he's going. But I don't think he will. He likes West Ham. He's a great player. How good's Jared Bowen? How good has he been this season for West Ham? Probably the best player of the season. With that, m most improved. Always puts in a shift. Um, England, who knows? I'm just going to mention that. Should he be included in Gareth Southgate's England squad for up and coming up and coming games? Yes, I think so. Even if he doesn't play, to, to be a member of the squad with his enthusiasm will certainly make some of the other players in England think twice. Elder pitch football. We've just witnessed West Ham's 1-1 draw with Newcastle. Can you give me your instant reaction to the game, fellas? How do we assess that? Pretty poor. Pretty poor. Yeah. I thought. Uh, I thought Declan Rice played very, very well, but I think there's too many of our players that weren't chasing the ball, weren't running after. Antonio's suffering a bad run of form, which is unfortunate because he's a great player and I hope he comes back to... But generally, I just didn't think it was a very good match. Too much pressure on Antonio, expected to score all the goals, in your opinion? Yeah, I think I think the guys... No, I think Jared Bowen's uh, playing very well. Uh, ben Rama, I, I think... Uh, he hasn't reached his full potential yet. I think once he starts scoring goals, he'll score a hatful. Um, but just generally, I don't know, there's just something missing there. We do need more more in attack, definitely. No, yeah. no thing. Yeah. Now, I've asked a few fans this today. Have West Ham missed a big chance to catapult the club forward by not signing and strengthening during the January transfer window, sir? I don't think there was very much available for them to, to, to sign. You know, and I, it's no good just signing players for signing's sake. I think, um, I think Moyes is a good manager and I think he's a very astute manager and I just don't think he would take people into the club unless he felt that they were going to contribute something. Held a pitch football, we just witnessed West Ham's 1-1 draw with me, I've got a lifelong West Ham fan, great to have you with me 70 sir. 70 years. 70 years? 70 years. Unbelievable. In the tricky chicken run. Unbelievable. I'm, eight, I'm, I'm 80 nearly now. Yeah. Mate, you don't look a day over uh, 70, so yeah, fair well, play. <laughs> <laughs> now. Speaking of spec savers, I know you've had a good eye on the game today. Give me your, your instant reaction to what we saw. Bitterly disappointed. Really? Yeah. Lack of effort, speed, pace. We look like we've drained. The old team looked like they've drained. There's nothing left. The life's been sucked out of them by lack of, lack of expenditure in, 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 the, in the transfer market. Suchek looks a shadow of the player he was. I'm, I'm afraid we're going nowhere. How much of a disappointment is it? Big chance for West Ham this season. Get Champions League football. Really push the club forward in terms there's of reputation. No it comes across that there's no ambition whatsoever in the club. It's just a cash cow for these others. You know I'm talking about. They're going to draw the dough. And in 2023, they will say goodnight. I'm really, really disappointed in the club. I haven't got many more years left and I thought this would be the year that we'd do something. Thank you very really much. Sad. Really sad to hear that. No, really sad to hear that. Really nice but, let me, before I let you go, Declan Rice has been so important to the team. If, if he does leave during the next transfer window, how much of a body blow would that be to West Ham? Well, I shan't be ill. If, if he goes, that, that, is, that is our Bobby Moore to build the club round. If we're an ambitious club, we will build it round Declan Rice. 
because there's not a lot else there except Bowen, perhaps. Bowen. Yeah. Apart from that, name someone else who's consistent and, and perform like this all season. Held a pitch football we're outside West Ham Stadium. We just witnessed a 1 1 draw with Newcastle. What's going on, Giza? Where's it going wrong? Mate, I ain't got a clue. Uh, he didn't have a clue what to do. He took Ben Rama off. Antonio was shocking. The whole team played shocking. Declan Rice had a bad game. He don't always, but there you go. It's a poor game, mate. We left. We left 20 minutes early. Well, it seems to be a bit of a, a bit of a drop in form since January and February. Do you think not bringing in reinforcements had a bit of a morale dip on the lads? 100. We need. We needed depth. We needed anyone. We could have had anyone. But what they've done is promised us all these big name signings. We weren't going to get. We weren't going to get them. And that's what they've done again. They do it year after year. We're in such a good position to go in for that fourth. We drop out of that. You've got the likes of Villa and Newcastle coming up. It's no good. I mean, you're right. This seemed like a really big chance for West Ham to push the club forward. Big transfer windows, maybe Champions League football. Do you think that they've blown it now? Yeah, 100%. We've blown it. It's, it's not going to happen. Man United, they're, somehow they're, they're scraping results through. They're going to get big players in the summer. Who's going to want to come to us? We're going to lose Rice, possibly Bowen. It's not going to happen. Now, you mentioned Declan Rice. There's been huge admirers, a lot of praise and speculation regarding his future. If West Ham haven't got Champions League football, do you think it's a realistic chance he will go? I think he's going to go regardless. I think him doing the interview with Gary Neville and that is putting himself in the, in the top in the shot window. He's, yeah. yeah, he's gone. He's gone. Once he goes, that's it. We're, we're he back. He seems to be the heartbeat of the team. He does. Not today he weren't, but he does. And if, if your heartbeat of your team wants to leave, what, what, what example does that set? Such a rare player in Declan Rice. A midfielder over six foot nowadays is a rarity in itself. He seems to have heart and passion and genuine love for the club. Be a real, real body blow to lose him. Of course he would. If you lose him, you can't replace him. Even if you get the 100 million, we ain't the sort of team that can go out and spend 100 mil on a massive player. So it's not going to happen. Let's talk a little bit about Jared Bowen before I let you go. Scintillating form for him this season. Should he be in Gareth Southgate's England squad, in your opinion? 100%. If he isn't, there's a serious problem. Um, I've got a feeling Rashford will get in front of him, which is ridiculous. But Bowen plays for West Ham, so we'll see what happens. Held a pitch football. We're outside West Ham Stadium today. Just witnessed a 1-1 draw with Newcastle. Can you give me your instant reaction to the game, fella? Statues. Absolute statues. Uh, Antonio doesn't. I don't know. I don't know what's happening to him. Um, they, they just. I don't know. I don't know if it's the weather. I don't know what it is. Um, but long way to come. A bus replacements, all that. I mean, it is. Yeah, it's not been. It's not been a good one today. Well, is it going wrong for West Ham at the moment? The form seemed to drop to a little bit over January and into February. Yeah, um, I don't know what has dropped. Um, yeah, I, don't, I don't know whether it's, uh, we're thin. We're thin. You know, we we haven't made any backup signings. Um, you know, there's, there's players out there. I don't believe that there wasn't any players to sign. You know, there's got to be some players out there, especially Antonio's position. Yeah. Uh, it's, you know, there must be some players out there. You know, we've got to sign. But yeah, I, I, we just haven't got the depth. We haven't got the depth, and you know it's showing. And you know, with clubs around us, you know, I, I, I just I think yeah, I just. I think this was a big chance for West Ham to progress as a club this season, getting that Champions League spot. Massively, massively. That transfer window was huge. Uh, you've got to bring him back up, you know, especially this time of the year. You know, this is a business end of the season. Um, you know, if you're not bringing in players, other teams around you are going to bring in players. Look at Newcastle. Newcastle down there, they fight relegation. They bring in their players. They're now on the run of form, and now you know they're sort of making us look silly. So, massively, yeah, yeah, definitely. Mikel Antonio has been so important to the club. Do you think that not bringing in some help for him in January was a big mistake by the board? Yeah, big time, big time. Uh, you know, it's not just it's not just bringing in one. You've got to bring in two because if Antonio gets an injury, you, every time you see Antonio go down, you think, well, who else have we got coming on? And we're over there going, oh, here you go, we've got Yarmolenko coming on. Maybe put Bowen up front, but you know, Yarmolenko's going to come on. You've got to push someone up front. You know, Antonio, it's now showing it doesn't look like he's striker. It looks like he's back to what he used to be a winger and you know he's out here and he, he's struggling and because we ain't bought the back up we haven't you know we haven't got a replacement for Antonio and he's doing it himself I don't know whether it's with him he, he, he looks like he's frustrated um, yeah definitely yeah 100% yeah should have brought someone in Jared Bowen's form this season has been scintillating got some uh, praise from some rival managers as well should be in the England team, England set up for you, in your opinion, where do you stand on it? Yeah, definitely. Um, Southgate goes on players on form, but he picks players that, you know, that are his favourites. He, he should be bringing Bowen in because Bowen's on form, so I don't understand with Southgate's idea. Saying, you know, he's bringing in players that are on form, Bowen's on form, it's clear to see, but he ain't bringing him in, so, yeah. Declan Rice, got to be one of the most 
Frustrating things for Hammer fans, the speculation regarding his future. Will he or won't he be here next season? What are your thoughts on it all? Um, this transfer window, we needed to bring in backup players to show to him that we mean business. If we're not bringing in players and his form starts, not his form starts dipping, but everybody else's form starts dipping and we start dropping down, his England place becomes in jeopardy, he's going to get frustrated. He's going to say, right, see you later. It's annoying because it seems to be an obsession with most fans, talk sport, everything else. Bowen, uh, Rice is off. Right, you know, is Rice going to stay? Is he going to go? I think if we do well in Europe and we keep, you know, if we get into Europe again and we keep in top half, maybe we finish where we did last season, then yeah, then I hope, hopefully, fingers crossed he stays, but who knows? Yeah. <laughs>